Microsoft did it again. They almost blocked all available ways to bypass Microsoft account. That sucks. However, today I will show you two methods, new two methods that work and you can bypass Microsoft account and of course use a local account instead. So let's get it started. But first, I want to thank our sponsors. 40 Dig Data Recovery, a leading software provider with a decade of experience, proudly unveils version 10.0 of its flagship product, 40 Dig Data Recovery. This latest release not only improves the user interface, but also introduces the enhanced video recovery feature, solidifying its position as the preferred solution for data loss. Unlike conventional recovery tools, 40 Dig now can simultaneously attempt to repair both videos and photos during the recovery process. Links to download 4D Dig Data Recovery can be found in the video description. And here we go. Firstly, you need to select your country. For example, it will be United States. Let's move forward. Click on Yes. Skip this moment. Now we can just click on Skip for now. Regarding to the first method, as always, you will select Setup for personal use. Click on next. Now, please take a close look because you need to hit shift plus F10. Simply, it will open the command prompt. Then you need to type next. O O B E backslash bypass by pass N R O. Take a close look one more time. O O B E backslash bypass NRO. This command will bypass network requirement during Windows 11 setup. Then just press enter and it will restart the system. Now you just need to wait until your computer or laptop will restart and you need to go through this process one more time. Click on yes. Click on yes. Skip for now one. Again, skip for now one. Setup for personal use. Click on next. As I said before, I strongly recommend to unplug the internet cable before doing this. However, if you have a laptop, you cannot unplug the internet cable. Of course, you can disassemble the laptop and remove Wi-Fi adapter. It is quite complicated. That's why we will use the next command. One more time, you need to hit Shift plus F10. It will open the command prompt. Now you need to type next IP config, press the spacebar, type slash, release, IP config, spacebar, slash, release. Simply to understand, it will release your IP, which is internet protocol. You need to press enter. After that, you can just type exit and click sign in. And voila, now you can use a local account without any problems. Of course, I do not understand why Microsoft make it so complicated and forcing people to use a Microsoft account. In my opinion, of course, it will be much better if we will be given the choice to decide do we need a Microsoft account or not. Now you can click on next. It's not necessary to create a password because many people think that they need to create a password. No, it's not necessary. You just need to click on next. I recommend to uncheck all of these options. Click accept. Finally, we are in Windows 11, but after this process, we need to restart the system because as you can see, we don't have access to the internet. So you need to click here, select restart, and voila, now we have access to the internet. We can use Windows 11 without any problems. I will navigate to the settings just to show you that at the moment I'm using a local account. So I need to click on um, accounts. Yep, that's a local account. Now let's talk about the second method, which is not so popular as the first one. Click on yes. Go through all this process one more time. Skip this moment. Regarding to the second method, we need to select setup for work and school. Here you can see info that we get access to your organization 
resource like email, network, apps and services, your organization will have full control over this device. It sounds great. However, many users on the internet strongly recommend to use it for personal use. However, I will show you how to do it. You still can bypass a Microsoft account using this method. So we need to click here, then click on next. After that, click on sign in options and you can select domain join instead. Voila, you can also use a local account. So I will type user, click on next, uncheck all of these options, click accept. The second time we are in Windows 11, I will navigate to account. I want to remind you that most users strongly recommend to use a personal account instead of this one. Honestly, I don't see a particular difference here. If you can explain me why we cannot use this account, please let me know in the comments below. I will be very grateful. My conclusions. We live in the reality where Microsoft will always try to block such methods to bypass a Microsoft account to bypass telemetry, etc. They want us to use only a Microsoft account to share our data with them. However, that's why I'm making these videos to make your life much easier. If this video was helpful, please like it. And I recommend watching this video on how to delete undeletable files in Windows 10 and Windows 11.